343 Industries confirms Halo Infinite multiplayer is going to be free to play. Valorant gets a new agent, Killjoy, and Tony Hawk is getting a lot of that original music that we all know and love. This and so much more. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Rarity Games. Another rundown for you. Bunch of announcements as of recently. Ton of news today. Halo Infinite starting off with the big one here. Multiplayer is going to be free to play. And this was leaked yesterday, but then confirmed by 343 Industries over on their Twitter page. And it's not just that. They also confirmed that it's going to be running at 120 frames per second on the Series X. That means we're getting crispy, fluid movement on the Series X on that Halo Infinite multiplayer. I know that's a huge thing for a lot of these Halo people. A lot of these guys, the competitive players, they're going to love that. Um, it makes a world of difference when you're playing at, at 120 frames and it's even going to be even better that it's free to play That's going to bring in a ton of new players bring in a ton of attention to the game It does worry me a little bit that they're going to be focusing a lot on microtransactions again If they're doing free to play for Halo it is a little worrisome Halo 5 was a little cumbersome when it comes to, to microtransactions so let's hope we don't get too much of that and more lean into something like a battle pass model and cosmetic related things and just leave it at that um, I'm really excited to see where this goes that is so cool um, we're getting full co-op has been confirmed split screen and four player as well for the uh, Halo Infinite campaign so Halo Infinite popping off right now it's this is going to be one of this year's biggest games i cannot wait to get in on it and for those of you who don't know it is full cross play on windows 10 xbox one and xbox series x so that's going to be incredible i know i'm gonna be playing it on my new beast of a pc i cannot wait and you're going to be seeing that come this holiday 2020 so strap in for that one on to the next story real quick wanted to touch on this i know a lot of you people love valorant right now and they are getting a new agent it was also a leak that just happened the other day and immediately was confirmed by riot games killjoy the new agent is coming to valorant and she looks awesome she looks like a really cool like new style innovative type of character um, I think this is really cool coming from them. They, they, a lot of people have complained with the imbalance in characters. I think she'll add a lot of new mechanics and a little more of a balancing system to the 5v5 multiplayer. Um, she's all tech based. She reminds me of the uh, tech character from Rainbow Six. She's going to have like a grenade, a drone, a spider bot, and then like uh, scanning um, abilities, some really cool stuff. She looks awesome. I like the little like turret drone that she has. I think that's super cool. Uh, nice distraction, nice play. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to testing her out. Looks like a really cool character. Can't wait for that one. And on to this next big thing that I think is really important to a lot of people, even though it's such a subtle thing. Um, games that get remastered always have an issue with soundtracks and keeping the same feel of the game because of licensing agreements um also along with like like um brands and stuff like if you're a skating game or like a racing game it's hard to get the same cars or the same skateboards or the same characters in the games for a remaster because of the licensing but this is really cool to hear that tony hawk one and two the remake is getting 18 of the original tracks and 37 new songs so they're gonna have a lot of the same feel and a lot of new touches to it it is basically a new game with the same maps and the same like you know vibe which i think is really cool and interesting because you know how tony hawk's been struggling recently um in the last few games nobody really had a huge was a huge fan of that but, I mean, we're seeing songs from the likes of Machine Gun Kelly, like, I, just so many, like, great artists, Sublime. Like, it's going to be really cool to have a new feel to it. 
and then it has a list of all these new songs coming out you can check this out over on GameSpot if you want to look into the song list um i think that's really cool that they're bringing back that original vibe to the game i know i'm excited for this um we've been talking a lot about skater xl here on the channel but th a lot of people are very excited for this game too skating games are coming back baby they are coming back and i can't wait to dig into this one too bang out those crazy lines all right and uh on to the next one quick little announcement here um yet another like stealth drop just out of nowhere um not too many people might really get this but the old guys out there really are going to be excited for this one the og players battle toads just got its release date announced like a official release date is going to be august 20th went under the radar boom right away it's going to be available on game pass xbox one and pc um this game looks really fun it's like one of those old school vibes um a lot ton of like mini games and like um side scrolling and like just racing down the line type of play um it's it's a very abstract very interesting game there, there's new game modes in it every couple minutes going through the campaign it's a very intense gameplay very funny comical um definitely an interesting game if you miss this kind of feeling definitely check that out it's coming out next month so that's that's a cool one to see coming so soon um now a couple of movie slash tv show gaming announcements this is pretty interesting stuff here um we are getting from the director of the detective pikachu we are getting a beyond good and evil movie for netflix now this is just just getting confirmed so they are not far in development they are currently looking for writers so that's really interesting though because the the detective pikachu people like i mean that movie people loved it like so i think that rob letterman the director is going to do a good job with this um it's a very interesting world and concept um it's this was announced over on netflix's twitter they just dropped it and said boom ubisoft's beyond good and evil series is getting a film adaptation so i think that's really cool um it's a, like i said it's a very interesting like world so they could do a lot with this um they could take it in their own direction or they could follow like the true storyline and give us something new um the game itself has been delayed quite a few times um we haven't really seen much of that recently i'm hoping to see it in the next uh ubisoft event um but yeah it's saying that it's not going to be released anytime soon we're going to probably see it after april 2021 um and then the movie is nowhere near ready but it is pretty interesting that it is happening um and on to the next like film industry and movie gaming stuff the last of us this is pretty interesting to me um they it's nothing major here but they are saying they will not be undoing the series source material they are focusing on expanding the series now this is going to be like a prequel slash like first game story section so i think that's pretty interesting i know there's been a lot of like controversy with the last of us 2 but people love the last of us 1 so going back in time a little bit and uh telling the story of uh, and expanding on the original i think that's great um it's coming to hbo it's it, it's gonna be a series so i i i think this one's gonna be pretty cool and i'm glad they're expanding on it i just thought i'd mention that real quick but that pretty much about does it for the rundown today wanted to get out the quick news quick announcements let you guys know what's going on i can't wait for a lot of this stuff and you know i'll be letting you know more of it soon anything i hear it'll be getting dropped right on this channel uh, come check out our streams. We'll be streaming live tomorrow at 2 o'clock, going until about 4, doing a stream party, helping out a bunch of support for smaller streamers. If you guys want to get involved and show some support for these guys, come on by. Check it out. I love doing it. I do it almost every Saturday. Super fun. Um, we're over at Rarity underscore TV. Come over there. We just hit affiliate. Come show some love and support the channel by subscribing. Um, I appreciate you guys. Much love. Peace out and keep on gaming.